In this problem, we have a dam that's waterline is 4 meters above the turbine inside the dam. We will be assuming a large reservoir, so no velocity relatively speaking at this point. The only pressure acting at this point is atmospheric pressure. The water runs through a pipe at a flow rate of 0.3 meters cubed per second into a turbine which has an efficiency of 10%. The water flows out of the dam and is at a relative height of 0 meters. It is met with only atmosphere pressure at this point and travels at a velocity of 3 meters per second right as it is leaving the dam. We will be assuming a density of water of 1000 kilograms per meter cubed turbulent flow factor of 1.07, and a friction value of 4,385 newtons per meter squared. We want to find the amount of power the turbine can extract from the water. All the values in this problem are made up, so it probably won't be realistic. How do we go about solving this one? Well, we need to use the expanded form of the Bernoulli equation, and assume that energy is conserved or does not disappear from point one which is the water line of the reservoir, and point two, which is the point where the water is leaving the dam. Recall that the Bernoulli equation is simply adding up the pressure energy plus the potential energy and the kinetic energy of a fluid at a given point. In the expanded form, we also add pump pressure to one side because it adds energy before reaching the second point. This won't be included in this problem, but is worth mentioning. On the second side, or point two, we add a turbine value and a friction value because both of these values are taken away from the total energy at point one before it reaches point two. So looking at this problem, pressure is atmospheric on both sides, so the pressure portion of the Bernoulli equation gets canceled out and removed. At point one, we assume a large reservoir, so the velocity is basically zero, and this portion can also be set to zero and removed. There is no pump in this problem, so this can also be removed. We set the height at point two at zero, relatively speaking, so we can set the potential energy at zero at this point and remove it as well. We are left with this equation. In this problem, we have a turbulent flow factor this is basically stating that there will need to be 7% more kinetic energy in order to accommodate the turbulent or chaotic flow. So we will multiply the kinetic energy portion times 1.07. This factor is typically only multiplied times the kinetic energy portion of side two. Now we must get what we're solving for, turbine pressure to one side. So we subtract the kinetic energy portion and the friction portion of this equation from both sides we are left with this equation. Plugging in our values into our calculator, we get a value of 30,000 newtons per meter squared or pascals of turbine pressure. Now, to get the power, we can multiply this value times the flow rate and we get 9,000 watts of power. This is of course assuming 100% efficiency, which would be the case if we were in a perfect world. To get the actual energy, we must multiply times our efficiency of 10% or 0.1. We get 900 watts of power this turbine can generate. This is enough power for 160 watt equivalent LED light bulbs. They're about 9 watts a bulb. Poll update. That concludes this video. Hopefully I've earned a like, share, or subscription. It really helps out the channel if you do. If you like this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.